video was right there at the top, like recommended. Hey, I like the sound of that. And speaking of that, we are live right now. So, hi Yo. everybody. How we doing? Welcome, welcome. Come and get Ch it. Come and get it. Chess, you're back. What is up? Dude, again, we can't keep you away. You just keep back coming again. back. <laughs> it's too fun. I'm having too much fun with I you know, guys. Man. You guys it's are awesome. Thank you for hiring me. Of course. Of course. Love um, having you. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm much, much calmer having you this time. You're not asking us a bunch of difficult questions about music. <laughs> Dude. That was fun. We did it amazing was, trivia. Yeah, that, that music was, trivia last week was awesome. Yeah, it was really, it, it really, was really, really so fun. Much, so much fun. However, I, I listened to it back, and I got, like, secondhand embarrassment for myself. I was so nervous that I feel like I just never stopped talking. And I, uh. I was very self conscious about how <laughs> like, how much I was talking in the episode. <laughs> like, oh wow! I could tell how nervous I was uh, just listening I didn't to myself. Go back and watch it. Now I really want to go back and watch it. <laughs> yeah, like Sorry just, about that. Sorry about the dead the dead uh, sound. Like, uh, what do you call that? Oh, dead air. Yeah, like, dead air. Sorry about the dead air. <laughs> well, see, the, 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 the when I was looking one one or two songs, like, yeah. But hey, I I feel like I I feel like. The categories was cool. The no, categories yeah. things was, was cool. We gotta keep more. I gotta yeah. I gotta get more categories next time. I'm I'm already sure. writing them down. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That, once you yeah, once you started getting into like the Mario's and stuff, like some of it I was like, okay. I'm still proud the one I'm the most proud of is the the Street Fighter Guile nice. one that I got. That's the oh, that's Good the job. one I am the most proud of. <laughs> That's, that's let's probably let's it. consider that a test run. Like when we do the next one months from now or whenever, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I learned a lot from this. Like I kind of know how to score better now. I have a better idea. We're going to rethink the score and, you know, we'll go from there. Yeah, it oh, yeah, was man. uh, it was great. It was mm -hmm. a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to doing it again. It's kind of crazy. Ass again. <laughs> Woo! It was kind of crazy that we went into it without like a, a like a real scoring system. Like it was kind of funny listening to us like figure out our scoring system <laughs> as we were I mean, going. It was there. It was we had an idea of what we were going to do. Not really. So, <laughs> I mean, it was we had a light idea. It was fine. Yeah. It's it a was, test run. It worked out well. Yeah. Oh yeah. I it mean, was great. It was good. It was a lot. Yeah. Of fun. So tonight, guys. Of course, this is the pre-show. Welcome to the pre-show. We'll get to the the main show in a few minutes. Won't we? Won't waste too much time here. Um, but tonight we're talking about something that, you know, chess is very, very qualified and knowledgeable about. No, no, don't oh, say that. <laughs> my, I, I, well, I say it. I'm going to add my own preamble, so don't <laughs> worry. Go ahead. <laughs> In my opinion, chess is qualified at least more than the two of us. Much more trip. qualified than us. Yes, yeah. That's so that's why sure. chess, we, that's why we're bringing in the, 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 our, the, our best, uh, tool here as a tool. I that sounds rude. Uh, our, our best source. Of information of regarding the Wii U and 3DS online play, how it's kind of best it's, analyst. It's done our best analyst, <laughs> and of course, I mean Mar for Mario Maker, dude. There's not too many people like better a than you. Little tag Jess. at the bottom, like unqualified analyst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in my in my Twitter bio, I've updated recently because I've been talking a lot about my Philly sports teams, and so I updated my Twitter bio and I put like. Uh, want to be Philly sports analyst or something in, in my Twitter <laughs> bio? Right. That's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta own it. You gotta own it, Chess. You yeah, know? yeah. I'm glad you own it. That's good. <laughs> Speaking of that, man, their new uniforms are garbage. They're not great. They're not great. God, they're, not they're great. ugly. The hats are great. The rest of it is just. Here, let, let me uh, wow. let me pull up. I'll check. I'll, I'll, we'll check since we're talking about it. It's just they're so up. bad. They're so bad. I'm gonna send you an image, Chess. Uh, actually, I'll just send you the link of the Google search. Like the font. It looks like, I, I think I said to Jeeb yesterday when he showed me, it's like 1997 Halloween font. <laughs> like, it's just really bad. Yeah. So there's a Google search link, Jess, That's for you to see. That's a professional yeah, they don't, they don't baseball look team's uniform. They, don't, they, look, they, they look like they tried and they didn't succeed with execution. You know, there's, part, uh, there's parts of them that look really good. And other parts yo, that, that don't looks look so metal, good. yo. What's up? I don't even. I don't <laughs> some know. people. It's metal, though. See, some. I see that, but like, I, okay. Some people. Hold on, Drip. Some people have said they love them, first impression, and some people have said they hate them. Go figure. A polarized, Dude, you know. Hey, is this people the we are. Philadelphia Phillies? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? And yeah. th th these are not their new. So the clarification, Chess. These these are not. They're they're not replacing their uniforms with these. The they're, they're oh. called the they're called the City Connect jerseys. Nike since Nike took over for pretty much all the four the three the main three baseball 
basketball, and football. Nike is like giving teams the City Connect jerseys, which are like jerseys that have bits and pieces of the city yeah, inspired like, by them. So it. the color scheme, obviously Phillies are very famously white and red with the pinstripes. This is this is blue and yellow because the Philadelphia flag is blue and yellow. So there's an example of how they connect to the city. You know, so, John Ebo. Uh, the hats are awesome. I agree. The hats are badass. <laughs> Yo, That's John Ebo. Yo, what's up, Johnny? That is it. That's you, the man. only thing. The hats. You have one, Jeep. I'm wearing. Right? The, I got the yeah. hat. I had to buy it. It just. It's. It's fucking. Awesome. The hat is the best part about it. No doubt about it. Uh, the rest of it. It's questionable. It's questionable best. Full Metal Nee says they're definitely 1997 Halloween. I mean, that's... <laughs> I feel like when that font... Like, in 97, you could have went to Walmart and bought a sign that said Happy Halloween for your door, and it would have been in that font. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the font... And so, Chess, the font was inspired by the Liberty... The crack in the Liberty Bell. That's what they said. Uh, that's why the font looks all, like, wonky like that. It's like uh, the oh, crack like, of the like Liberty 1700s Bell. quill pen writing, Full Metal Nee says. Yeah, and whatever. And I can yeah. see that a little bit, but it's just... Uh, Johnny, I, I bought it off the... Just... I, uh, f- fanatics. <laughs> I bought it off the... the You know, the, the Phillies doc, Philly shop dot com or whatever the it's fuck it is. 1700 you know? spooky. That's what we'll call it. I, and Johnny, I bought I it... That's what the font's called. I bought it that morning. I didn't, like, waste any time as far as, like, letting them get to sell out or anything. So I don't, I don't know if you can get them anymore. I'm sure they'll have another load at some point. But, yeah, I bought it, like, right away. Uh, Yeah online anyway so yeah we're talking about we the we with three deaths are finally dead officially as far as online play and anything like that you know there's there's they're gone they're gone they're they're wiped off the internet they're fully single player local consoles now i Uh, actually do have a few things to say about that yeah but i also and i want to bring up something as well we i'm not a set list but i just remembered uh chess do you know anything about pretendo yeah yeah okay so i want to touch on pretendo tonight as well because that's that seemed really cool yeah, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, we're gonna get to, we're gonna get to that. No, what is? Well, I don't know what that is. You'll find out, Drip. We'll talk about it. Yeah, that's another Just thing. Just pretend tonight. you uh, know what you know what what Nintendo <laughs> is. Oh, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I know that. I know that. Oh, yeah, great, great stuff. So it's, it's we'll talk stuff. about that. We'll Probably talk about the Wii U. my favorite of the Tendos. For we'll sure. talk about the, the 3ds and everything. We'll talk about the Pretendo. Then we'll talk about, of course, uh, Super Mario Maker and all that stuff as far yeah, as I'm, what Team Zero Percent. Trimming the herbs, the drama, the passion, the love, the blood, the sweat, the tears, and the f- and the the final finale that just concluded two days ago. So we'll we'll get into all that tonight. <laughs> yeah, good. I know nothing. I'm com- I'm coming into this knowing little to nothing. So I will be asking lots of questions. And if you guys have any questions, uh, even though we'll be probably not talking to you a lot, put them in the chat if you want to know anything about it. If they're good, maybe we'll talk. We'll, uh, we'll bring them up. Don't forget about the super chats, of course. If you oh have yeah, a, if, if you have it's a, a super chat, a, we'll definitely fucking a, say. <laughs> if you have a dime to spare, you can send us a, a quick little nine nine cents and uh, get your, your comment read over here. Also, guys, leave reviews on the podcast. Uh, one of these days, pretty soon, I'm going to be reading uh, the reviews on the show live. Not, that's not going to be this week with our guest here, but we'll do that at some point. Tonight's episode is going to be sponsored again by Doyoki, so we'll get to that sponsorship later on in the episode. I was just about to ask you about that. If yeah, you so, uh, or not. I'll just kind of, I'll just kind of bring it up at some point. So sorry, Chess. There's gonna be a point in the episode where we have to, gotta pay yeah. the bills and talk about a little sponsor. Uh, Still got him on. Yeah, I don't have my joy counts with me. I don't have a switch with me, but you'll be the guy. Um, oh, I should. That reminds me. I should pull up that so I have that ready to read. Oh, I go. do want to talk about this in the pre-show too. Check this out. You guys can see my screen, right? Yeah. You can see- I have a controller here, unreleased, pre-order. It's up for pre-order right now. Uh, I'm not going to say much about it yet, except that right here, this is a screen. Whoa. It has a screen on it, a two-inch, full-color nice. screen. It, it comes with a charging base. Um, it's got lots of lots of bells and whistles, but that video is coming out this week. Uh, uh, Jim and I, I are I... trying a little bit of a different style. <laughs> editing and putting it together this week so we'll see yeah, how that goes. nice we'll see uh aiden asked a very important question if i leave a trash review will you still read it live in the show i don't care what it says as long as it follows our community guidelines and if you want to know our community guidelines you can find those in our discord and it also has to say five stars 
It has to say five star. As long as you have a five star review, you can talk all the shit you want. You can talk all the shit you want. Just make sure that it's not you know all, all the obvious stuff. You know, no the sexism, racism, bigotry, uh, hate, yeah, nothing all stupid. All that very normal, basic stuff that you know, human. Be a, a kind human while you're trashing our podcast. And as long as it's five stars, I don't care. <laughs> you can say Drip and Jeep are the worst podcast on the face of the earth. I would never listen to them at all. Five stars, then I'll then it's fine. Hero says that looks awesome. I'm sure he's talking about the controller. It's pretty cool. It's, it's got, trash. Five stars. It's got some. It's got some <laughs> problems. The controller's got some. It's got some problems. It's got a big one that I'm just sick of seeing in controllers. But uh, <laughs> we'll we'll see. Uh, Johnny about the hat. Expensive. What? The hat? What's expensive? He got the hat. Billy's hat. Oh, yeah. So I bought the snapback, so it's not as expensive. But they've raised their hat price over the years, man. I was buying – I've been wearing hats for for, forever. And the, what the do they run these days? Like the official ones, like forty five. The, the official fitted is forty five. The snapback. Wow! The I snap just back, took a wild guess. That's a nice <laughs> guess. The snapback <laughs> is thirty eight. Uh, as far as like the, it's got the the full brim. Like it's 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 just like the fitted, just with a snapback. That's thirty eight. And if you want like the more traditional like dad hat, uh, snapback, uh, with a buckle on it, that's like thirty thirty two something like Still. that. Still, yeah, that's not. I mean, that's not worth it. It's it's not worth it. I Crazy. I just I love the hat too much. It, it, the embroidery on it is just it's so nice. It's just Chess so and nice. Drip are both using the same headset. Uh yeah, yeah, I think you guys are. Yeah, Chet, yeah, Chet, you're using the ATH yeah, forties, right? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Twinsies. Twinsies. And I, and I, I recommended but... Drip to get those. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but I mean we're wearing the same headphones, but Drip's drip is is way better. <laughs> oh man. Or, or drip can't help that he's so fly, you know. I, hey, I mean it's not my fault, you know. <laughs> uh the ATH50 Bluetooth. Yeah, the same thing. They, they, they I just bought these a couple of months ago and I can't believe that I that I didn't have a like the way when I when I started streaming, I would be so crazy that I literally like broke some headsets and I was so afraid of breaking them that I started buying like really cheap ones. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, dude, I'm a I'm a musician. I need to to listen to like, you know, yeah. quality and game changer. These guys are game changers. I did a lot of research and I feel like this is what I wanted. Yeah. Well, as soon as I put these on my first stream, I was like, oh my God, like, why have I not been like this? Yeah. Ca- compared to what I was using, I was using like game changer, like skull yeah, least, candies yeah. and stuff like that that aren't me, me, made for like, right. Yeah, you're right. Like these gaming headsets. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go with too, the musician yeah. headset. Yeah. Like, this dude, is the way to go. Or like, the, yeah. Because so Gene was good. like, why are you using those? I'm like, I don't know, man. It's like, yeah, like, 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 and, and like, there's a, there's no a no offense school... to the other headsets because I don't really know much <laughs> about them. I just had yeah. a couple of like, I don't remember what it was. Uh, Logitech, I, I don't remember uh, what okay. it was. Yeah, I mean, listen, like, the, the headphones are tools, like anything else, right? You, if you want to listen to music with headphones, then you should buy the ones that are made to make music sound good, right? If you want, uh, if you want to play video games with headphones, you probably want to get the ones that are made to play video games because they're all EQ'd up to be best for that. Yeah. If you're trying to make YouTube content and monitor your voice or like chess monitoring an instrument, you don't want that. You what you want is is the the ones that are created for that purpose. The flat, yeah, flat yeah. headphones, the flat profile, that yeah. flat profile that doesn't have any of that coloration. So it's they're not good for listening oh, to music, man. but they Speaking are that, really good for what we do here. There's a there's a set of headphones that Instagram and Facebook have been pushing ads to me for. They're called heavies, but they are strictly made for listening to heavy metal music, which I listen to a lot of. I'm tempted, but they're expensive. But I, they 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 started showing like breakdowns of what they are like inside. They are very interesting. They yep. I think they've got four speakers on the inside. They've like two subs here and then they've got two like tweeters that are pointed like in like towards your like actual going into your ears not like at your ears i don't know it's it's very interesting there's a lot of stuff going on there but they're expensive but they say they make heavy metal music listen listening uh, the best <laughs> it can awesome. be and i'm like i love heavy metal music <laughs> like, 
I think uh, they're like 300 bucks though. I just don't. Yeah. I don't know if I wow. Can do that. Are yeah, you guys that's, ready that's to to get going? Yeah, yeah sure. I, I know we're not we're we started late, and I don't want anybody to go to bed late here. So we'll we'll try to wrap this up at a, at a decent time here tonight. So let's get okay. let's get it rolling. Get the let's music do down, drip. Uh, chat. We're gonna obviously record the podcast now. If you guys wouldn't mind liking this stream, we got four likes right now. We got ten of you hanging out. We get can we get to can we get to ten likes? Come can we get can, it. Come and get. Can we get there? Is that a possibility? I think I think it might be. So uh, let's get the ten likes before we. Oh, it's a possibility. Before we end this podcast tonight. That'd be great. Uh, and make sure, it's guys, happening. in FYI, let me actually pull this up real fast. Uh, Chess, if you guys want to follow Chess on YouTube or Twitch, that is in our description. Uh, but I'll add this as a pinned message in the chat. There's Chess's Twitch. That's his bread and butter. Go over there. Follow Chess on Twitch. Uh, he's, he's, he's the man. He is the Thank man you, my friend. for the you Twitch. Rock, man. You guys rock. So, okay. Thank you, man. Uh, let's get it rolling, guys. This podcast was brought to you by Uncle Jeep Productions. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah. Nailed it! <laughs> okay. Uh, try number two. <laughs> you got this. This podcast was brought to you by Uncle Jeep Productions. What hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Drip G Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Jeep, and with me <laughs> is host of Media Gaming. We record this podcast live every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, or anywhere you can listen to podcasts. Leave us a five-star review. Get your review let, uh, read live on the podcast uh, at some point here soon. I'm going to do that probably next week. I keep saying that, but I promise I will do it. This week, Drip, we have a special guest once again returning to the show for his third time in for almost as many months, that would be Chess WC. Chess man, welcome back again. We just had you on for our uh, what do we call that? The the music trivia extravaganza. How you doing? What is that, my friend? Yeah, that was a lot of fun last night's uh, music trivia. Uh, yeah. our test run, so to speak. We yeah. had a lot of fun. The, the next one, whenever it is, it's gonna be better. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It really was. Honestly, it was it was great fun. I'm I'm glad I won. Obviously, you know that's that's a <laughs> that's a plus. It's a bonus. Oh, I mean, no. you know, uh, not to brag or anything, Jeep. You did oh, okay. Not, yeah. You did all right. Mm -hmm. You did all right. You did you did good. I'm still salty about it. Not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, you you won fair and square. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and we'll do it again. Hopefully yeah. soon, and I can beat you butt then. Uh, but that's not what tonight's yeah. about, guys. Tonight is a reason why Chess is on. Chess, as far as anybody Drip and I know, is the most qualified person in our lives to, to bring on. So, of course, we had to ask <laughs> him to come back, and he so graciously agreed. We're going to be talking about the, a, mul a multitude of things, but mainly centered around the Wii U and 3DS online servers shutting down and the uh, Mario Maker on the Wii U. That There's a whole thing that I didn't know about as far as uh, Team Zero percent uh, the last level trimming the herbs and a lot of drama surrounding that and much, much more in that realm of stuff. Uh, but, and we're, but we're going to start off real quick, guys. Chess, we're going to start this off with yes. just kind of let's drip. Can you, do you have any like sad music we can play just like so we can like <laughs> send off the, the, the Wii U and 3DS? I have the uh, I have the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the world, the Wii U and 3DS online ca capabilities are kaput they're dead they dead they're dead they're no longer a thing the, the, you can no longer play your raise online your, games raise your Wii raise, to the air raise I wish I had a lighter raise your lights I don't care if you're driving <laughs> listen to this podcast do whatever You, if you're driving pull over Pour your beer. I got a beer. I'm not gonna pour it out. That's a mess. But pour your beer out for. I would raise my 3ds to the air, but I sold it. <laughs> oh no! You <laughs> did sell your 2ds. Highly in shield edition. You, you madman. Um. Okay, Drew. You can cut it. Um. <laughs> so they're they're done. Uh. Yeah. And that's kind of sad, man. Chess. I'm sure you have a lot of good memories playing your Wii U. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and yeah. Just anything you want to okay. say. Anything you want to uh, say about it? Sure. Uh, yeah. I bought a I bought a Wii U, so uh, I took twenty years off of gaming, with the exception of one year playing this the the GameCube, and also mm -hmm. at my sister's house I played uh, Mario Galaxy. 
that's it. Like, but in 20 years, I was like focused on playing music, blah, blah. I've told that story many times, but you yes, know, it's a good I, one. I, I'll, I'll repeat it. But somebody gave me a Wii and I, it got me back into gaming. Somebody gave me a Wii and I started playing like Gradius 3. I started playing like a lot of like retro games I bought on the virtual console. Mm -hmm. But then the Wii U came out, Mario Kart. And uh, I, I think I bought Mario Kart and 3D World. I just kind of wanted a console. I hadn't bought one since, you know, since the GameCube. So I was like, you know, boom, let's buy it. And then they announced Mario Maker. I think Mario Maker was already announced. They announced it in 2013, by the way. Wow. Oh, and wow. it was basically, uh, I'll tell the story of Mario Maker really quick. Uh, it was supposed to be Mario Paint for the for the Wii U. I, I remember you telling me that. That's that's yeah. crazy. Man, I used to it, love Mario. Yeah. Paint. Of Man. course. Yeah, me too. Me too. I, look, I got the mouse right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. I used to have that too. Oh, man, that was a and great the, one. That was a great and one. the mouse pad. <laughs> oh, nice plastic mouse pad. Yeah. I remember And this that is thing. the Wii that somebody gave me. Somebody just gave me this. And I was like, it just got me back into gaming. And I was like, you know what? I want to be happy because before I saw video games like as a distraction, like, hey, I got to get good on the drums. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like put put that aside for a little bit but then i started getting back into gaming and they announced mario maker uh which was supposed to be mario paint and they developed a tool for the for the people at nintendo to make new levels like hey here's a really cool tool for you guys to make uh new new uh 2d you know 2d they had released like the mario wii it, it kind of got stale. Like, a lot of those games are, like, the same. Yeah. They they redid the same game, like, three the, times. Yeah, the new Super Mario New Brothers Super Mario Wii, yeah. 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 And so they were like, you know, hey, let's 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 give in this tool. Let's see what's up or whatever. And obviously, I'm, I don't know if I'm getting the story right, but this is from, 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 my, from my perspective or from what I know. But uh, they started using the tool to create the levels, and they're like, this is your game. This is it. This is your game. Like, right. Release this tool of, you know, making your own levels. So, custom levels. And back in 2015, when the game came out, it came out in September of 2015. Wow. Uh, only, I in bought... a, only a nine year run then because of the Wii, yeah. because the Wii U screwed it over by, by sucking and failing. Yeah. So, it only had a nine year run. That's crazy. Yeah. So, I was in love with the idea of making your own Mario level. Uh, and I was like dreaming about it for two years. I was like, when they announced it, I was like, man, I want this. And when it came out, uh, you know, I didn't buy it right away. I had to, I had to wait for my paycheck or whatever. And I bought it like a, 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 a couple of weeks late. And I made my first level. I think my first level is November or October of 2015. And you could still play it. Two days ago. That's oh, crazy. That's, that's, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. You could play two days ago, as as we, uh, as many of you know, uh, the Wii U servers and the 3DS servers. Yep. And so my experience with Mario Maker is that in 2015 I started playing it and I started taking the Wii U to a gaming event every week and having people play my levels like IRL. And I really enjoyed it. I didn't even know what Twitch was, by the way. I literally just kind of got back into gaming like like a year before I bought Mario Maker or a year and a half ago, uh, a year before I bought it. And so I, I made a couple of levels. Then I discovered Twitch later on, like 2017. And I uh, started giving my levels to like streamers. Streamers, And yeah. those streamers that played my levels... They're they're huge now. That's Barbarous awesome. King played my level. Like really? my first level. Yeah, like my first level. Barbarous King played it. Like yeah. what? I, it, and, bar, they refer yeah. to it as Barb's, right? People call him Barb. Barb's. Yeah, yeah. Bar Barb. So as my my brother in law uh, is a big fan of Barb. He watches them all the time. I've been, I've been watching yeah. Barb streams like secondhand for a long time because I used to live with my brother in law. So like I, I was never into it, and I'm still not really into it. But that was cool. Like yeah. uh, like always watching him watch Barb. Yeah. It was fun. And so back back then, I I kind of like came to Twitch to to, and I always tell this story. 
if it wasn't for Mario Maker, I would not be on Twitch. I would I wouldn't be streaming because Mario Maker got me there because I wanted to see people play my levels. And there's a joke in the community, play my webo. People always coming to your stream like play my level streamer, play play my webo. And yeah. uh, <laughs> and so I discovered Twitch because I wanted my levels played and I wanted the feedback and that feedback that level i know that many streamers do different things but like streamers that do viewer levels have that connection you're, you're seeing you're watching a streamer play your level it's amazing yeah. yeah and it's so crazy because that whole thing like why are you watching us somebody play a game and you're like they're playing my I game <laughs> yeah yeah. That. That's why. <laughs> yeah that's a whole nother level right there that's yeah why, so yeah. there's like, that oh, connection really? yeah. There's yeah. that connection, and a lot of people they that's uh, a lot of people say like you know streaming Mario Maker is a is a good community game because mm -hmm. of that connection. Yes. I mean, I happen to be playing it because I actually liked the game before I knew about Twitch or whatever, right. uh, and I kind of landed here by accident. But then that was back then, 2017. But then in 2018, like a year later, I discovered the small streamer community, and that the connection is even. Oh, because yeah. you don't have a lot of people you're not like uh, you know that that connection i started watching like smaller streamers and pre -COVID, i started by know, the way pre-covid so, it was very uh, yeah, it's 20, easy to yeah. during COVID. it was easy to be to find that and be a part of yeah. that but you, you were doing that yeah. before it was like you know yeah, nobody, had, nobody had nothing else to do but you know watch streamers. <laughs> yeah 2018 yeah. uh like from july of 2018 and then i started streaming in march of 2019 but for like five months uh, around there, uh, I was like watching Twitch every day. That's awesome. And I was also like trying to save money to uh, to travel at the time. So I was like not hanging out, not going out or anything. So I was like at home watching a lot of Twitch, watching people play my levels. And then I started making levels and I started, I started to get better because of the feedback. So there was this one streamer uh, his name is Jay Bissell. I actually started uh, watching him a lot and I would give him my levels and I would make him harder and harder. And then there was one level that took him five minutes. And I was like, yes, I'm not even kidding. This guy would demolish your level. Oh, but man. then there was that then there was a le like a very short, like 10 second level that took him like five minutes. You couldn't get through. And and so that got me hooked. And then, you know. Now we're on Twitch, but I guess uh, we can kind of segue. How do we segue there? Basically, uh, Mario Maker is a very important part of, of a lot of people's lives. It just happens to be my my favorite modern game. I love the creative aspect of it, and I like to say that the coolest part about Mario Maker for me, I know a lot of uh, a lot of people kind of think differently about the game my favorite connection my favorite thing is always playing my friends levels and having your friends play your levels it's yeah. always that to me is is like the core of the game but many people like playing random levels and you know they, they do a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff to do in that game yeah yeah and well so that's the thing though that okay mario maker aside because that's the game that i feel like at this point that the the wii u online stuff going down like that's the only thing that really matters on there yes you're right, right. I mean, and when you think also about the it, every mario other game, kart 8 mario but, kart 8 but that's mario where the, kart 8's on no the, switch. The, the purists are still on the wii u are they today. really i'm kidding <laughs> 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 i'm not sure serious i was like is there really like a gr big group of people who are still playing on the wii u dude i was gonna be uh, like if i have known that i'd have been there I'm like i want to see what these guys got they might be just, real deal I believed you, but I had like a different opinion. I was like, ah, well, forget those guys. This fuck, fucking Mario, well, they're done now. Mario Maker they're playing pure, with us now or anyway. Mario, Mario but yeah, Kart you're right. 8 or the I mean, That's it. That's literally the it. Like, th th there's really not another game left on the system on that one anyway. And I don't know about the 3DS. Maybe somebody in chat can tell uh, me a well, game okay, that people are on. playing on 3DS. Sp Splatoon. Online. I would say Splatoon probably has a really dedicated community because okay, yeah. it's the OG Splatoon. I think a lot of people say it's probably the best one. And I don't the know ones about who maybe that. didn't like the um, whatever changes into yeah, or whatever, who wanted to stick. That, that's fair. More, that's most likely that too. that's probably a close second, but I think Mario yeah. Maker is, is the, the clear, 
most going to be the most missed it's game the from chunk. that era. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. There's 10.6 million levels. That's I mean, insane. that's nuts. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, that is insane. I mean, that do we have any nuts. idea how many level makers there are? How many you know, people are actually like, making the levels? Actually, there's this whole like file full of data. But I think that they haven't really come out with a comprehensive list. I'm kind of waiting for that. Maybe with this whole Pretendo thing, uh, we'll talk about that later. But we'll 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 know more about it. But I, actually, I've I've searched. I I would love to 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 see like a bu a bunch of data related to SM uh, Super Mario Maker One. That would be really cool. Yeah. But we don't especially have the, those tools yet. At, at least you know searchable. Yeah. Maybe well, I mean, especially now that we know like. It's done. Yeah, like, right. The data is the data now. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you could have the final the final version of it. That would be very cool to see. Yeah, that would be very cool to see. And they say that or or, or Pretendo in their website, uh Pretendo is basically uh like a, a company, they're gonna a project, they're going to basically recreate the Wii U servers and the 3DS servers. And wow. you can you can you can hook up and they announced this like yesterday. Now you are able to hook up through your Wii U, through through the Wii U without modding, just by yes. changing wow. the okay. DNS Hold thing. On. And how how are they still alive today? How has Nintendo not sent the ninjas in and cut their heads off already? Yeah, it's video it's just, game I preservation. Would... I don't know much about it, but it's just recreating the servers. You still have to use your game and your console. You see what I mean? So they're basically just making a new. I mean, I just they're, feel they're, like they're they found a, something. They found a way to redirect your instead of using Nintendo servers, which literally don't even exist anymore. The, the, uh -huh. These Pretendo people have found the way to redirect your console to look to they their servers exist. instead. People they do. were playing after the shutdown. If your Wii U still on, there's uh -huh. people still logged in. Uh, you know, they removed our access. I'm not trying I to wonder. Get into, yeah, I wonder, I'm not trying I wonder, to get into conspiracy hmm. theories, but I would <laughs> I would imagine that Nintendo's just not gonna scrap everything on 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 day one of the shutdown. You know what I right. mean? They they still kind of have backups of everything. They still yeah, have everything. Yeah. And I'm sure they're gonna use whatever those servers are. They're using. They're gonna be using them for something else. I'm sure they're not Mario gonna, Maker like, Three. Just, I mean, you I'm can, sure they're not you, just gonna. Be, let's light these on fire now. <laughs> like, <laughs> and something's gonna be. They're gonna be the used Switch. for something. I'm sure. Like improving the Switch 2's online oh, infrastructure. Oh, no, not would, that silly. Which no. would Why be would they a do good that? use of that. But that's not this episode. But yeah, Pretendo. I, I was. You guys did. Chess and you did my job for me, man. You like. You just write a Pretendo, <laughs> which, what wants, which is what I wanted to do. Uh, so yeah, Pretendo is awesome. I'm gonna try it out. I, I actually want to try it out. I want to try it out on my my uh, Steam Deck because I. Long story short. Bringing my Wii U back over to my desk is gonna be is gonna be an issue. So my only solution is to get like a twenty, like a fifty foot HDMI cord to to, to so I can get uh, plug my Wii U into my caps card. But I want to try chess because apparently with Pretendo servers, people are making already starting to make their own the brand new Mario Maker One levels on the Pretendo servers. That I didn't know that confirmed, but I thought about that. I was like, I bet you yeah. you can make your own levels. Shout That's out to amazing. Good Vibes Gaming for posting uh, another quality video today of just that very thing. They they explained to you how to connect That's your Nintendo server. So it's happening non already. This it's is already not happening. happening. It's already in the process. Uh, as Hero told me earlier in the day, Hero told me that the the game is only uh, or the the only, they're only like what he said sixty three percent uh finished with like compatibility. So you could run into issues. So this is not perfect yet, uh -huh. but give it some time. This is going to run probably like that's smoothly, Un yeah, unless that is, that is Nintendo amazing. decides Why, to man, cut it off. Crazy. But yeah, that's but I, I really want. I really want to try some of these Mario Maker levels because that's I missed out on the hype, and I feel like it's too late to jump in now, especially on the Switch. Play, I, play my best my level, G. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. I, I'll play. I'll play a level on Mario Maker Three because there's no doubt in my mind Mario Dude, Maker Three do you comes have out. Mario Maker Two. No, Me? I don't. Oh, uh, Jeeve. Yeah, I know. I know you got it. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't. I had it. I had it. I, I, I had it. the physical. I had the physical copy, and I sold yeah. it. And I was I meant to, like, I sold all my physical copies. But then when I sell my physical copies, I'm like, okay, I'm going to use that money to buy the digital copy. But I didn't. I didn't buy Mario Maker again because it's it's just not it's it's not my thing. I played through like the the main, it's like story part of it or whatever it was, uh -huh. like the ones that they provided. Uh, which I, 
I thought it's funny because like even I know a lot of the people who make levels like some of them out there are like amazing. It's just weird that like the Mario Maker story levels are even uh-huh. better than anything that they gave us with like you know new super mario bros <laughs> like uh, those levels are so much better and so much more fun to right? play than the I actual agree. mario game but not with believe wonder. it or not i think wonder it, i think wonder they did take a little i bit see this. story i w- when wonder was coming out i was like i'm gonna play the the last 2d mario before uh wonder comes out and people are like which one are you playing are you playing mario new super mario bros i'm like no, I'm playing story, uh, story mode on yeah. Mario Maker 2. Yeah. That's the last 2D game, in my it opinion. Is. Like, it's yeah. the last 2D game, and you know, it's fun. You know, it's good. It's uh, miles better than than I new recommend Super Mario playing Bros. normal and then expert. Play, uh. play, play <laughs> random levels. I one day, whenever you want, whenever you just pull out some Mario Maker 2 and yeah. go to normal and and you'll have some fun random levels from all over the world is pretty cool i'm gonna be picking up a super mario maker 3 whenever that drops on yeah most likely the next system and i want to be there for the hype at the beginning i feel like i've already missed out and it's like jumping now seems a bit yeah, silly I mean, to I me i feel like that's a that's an easy 2026 20, game probably yeah well i mean whenever it comes it comes but i'll play it then i'm, I'm really excited to get on that train uh, yeah. Two things, guys, before we move on. I want to talk about Team 0% and get into all that. Yes. Before we do that, two things. Uh, we got a super chat. Thank you, uh, John Ebo, the man, the myth, the legend, hanging out in our chat. Uh, super Mario Bros. 3 over Super Mario Bros. World. If you don't understand what that reference is about, you should watch the Communication Era podcast. Shout out to those guys over there. So go check that out with the episode that I was in, especially. But that, that's specific. Uh, also, Full Metal or, or uh, Mega responding to that mega said i'm at table tennis gotta run but super mario bros world over super mario bros 3 again watch their podcast to get that reference uh uh i, I made a boo-boo i made an error with my words but go, uh, super mario bros world all day um however moving on we gotta pay the bills <laughs> Yo, we gotta pay boy. the bills so we're gonna get to our sponsor today's episode which is Duyoki uh drip First party Nintendo Joy Cons are amazing pieces of technology, but unfortunately, they're just too uncomfortable to play for long periods of time. Thankfully, Joy can reach out to us and they might just have a solution. The Duyoki Epoch Game Controllers are a Joy Con style controller that feature ergonomic, comfortable rubber grips, Hall Effect joysticks with swappable stick caps, six LED color lights, wake up and turbo functions. They're wireless, they have gyro, programmable back buttons, lighting modes for those LEDs, and much more. Drip, I know that you've been working with Binbox slash Doyoki for a while now. You've had first-hand experience with their, uh, with many of their products and even has given them direct input and feedback on their products pre- and post-release. I have these, actually. These are one of them. These are one of the ones. Uh, I, I talked to them about these. Yeah, we went back and forth on Twitter DMs for, God, I don't know like six months like two years ago or something like that but yeah these are the i I got to see like the pre-renders of these back then i've been waiting for these for a long time because they said they were going to be super comfort they're going to have those rubber grips which i was really looking forward to yep yep they do and they are uh these are what i've been using on my switch since i got them as i said last week i'll say it again usually i i review a lot of stuff a lot of joy cons and it's usually on to the next uh these have actually stuck on my switch for a while they're big, they're comfortable, and you and I talked about this. I, I, I will finish it with this. I usually am not a fan of the RGB lights, but I've kept the RGB lights on yes. on these ones. I don't know why. I just Same. like the way they look. I feel like they're done really nice on these. I usually take them to one color, but uh, I'm good with the RGBs on these ones. Yeah, me too. And uh, you guys, if you wanna, if you're good with the RGB, you could find them in our links down below. Check our description to find uh, the Duoki Epoch Game Controller. Uh, and do we have a code, Drip? I think we've got a code. Uh, we do have a code. You can get ten percent off if you type in the code Drip Media Gaming. It is three words. All three words are capitalized. Drip Media Gaming at checkout. You get ten percent off. Thank you to Doyoki for sponsoring today's episode. Yeah. Chess. Yo. What the crap is Team Zero Percent? I am really <laughs> wondering that because I hear you guys keep saying it. I have no idea what it is. Okay, so I kind of want to talk about my experience with Team Zero Percent, which is, in a way, none. I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a okay. fan. Okay. Okay, so... I thought you were going to say you were on the team. I was going to say... No, <laughs> no, no. Uh, so I'll explain what it is, but but 
basically, I just want, as a preamble, like I'm a fan and I want to talk about how I discovered this whole kind of thing, right? So obviously, I play Mario Maker, but I'm not like a, like a super crazy good player. You know what I mean? I, I love the game and I, I like precision, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but, you know, there are some really, really talented, really great players out there. And basically, the story goes that in 2017, uh, by the way, the, the first time I, I discovered Team Precision, I mean, uh, Team Zero Percent, is I saw a video by the Riley C on YouTube. And it was like a call. The video was a call. Come join our cause. We're going to try to beat Mario Maker. We're going to beat Whoa. every level. So we talked earlier about there, there being 10 Point six million levels. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't really know the numbers specifically, but the project started. Let's beat all the all the uncleared levels of 2015. So three months of 2015, as we said, the game came out in September, right? Yeah. Three and a half months in 2015, there was 28,000 levels that were uncleared. That is still so like think about that a number. crazy amount of number of 28,000 levels. levels because everybody's playing the game and they're beating I mean, all the this. levels. There's not yeah. even that amount of levels in every single Mario game they've ever put out at like right? not even close. Th not you're even right. Close. You're right. It's um, it's it's crazy to think about and that's that's why this game is so nuts and it's so cool. So they, it took team 0%, team 0% in 2017, they formed around the idea. By the way, Jeffy is the founder. Okay. Uh, they formed in 2017, like, let's beat all the 2015 uncleared levels. And let's get people from the community. And, you know, one of the first members was Fritzef, who's, I mean, I've always been aware of Fritzef since the beginning of, you know, my discovery of Mario Maker on Twitch, you know, you start to see all the characters mm -hmm. and the videos that you can watch that that you you said you put in the description of this YouTube video yes. or the the podcast. Yeah, you oh, learn, if, if, if you, you learn have... about all this. And yeah. yeah, I watch all the videos and uh so did you uh Jeep and uh you know sorry <laughs> i shouldn't have said the behind the i scenes. did not but i did not on purpose because i am i'm asking questions i don't yeah, know anything that's good I'm that's learning good. tonight yeah yeah and so basically uh just to to, to not go more uh, down, uh, down more tangents uh they beat it took him a year and a half to beat okay, and that all the just, 2015 okay and that's just the 2015 stuff yes right? a year okay, so and then a half. you move on to 2016 right Yes. Okay. So in twenty in twenty fifth, when they beat twenty fifteen, what I'm what I understand is that the group kind of died off a little bit. I mean, they kept doing uncleared levels of 2016, 2017, 2019. But it wasn't such a big job, I guess, at that point. Yeah, there was a lot. But of then they announced in twenty twenty one the closure, or, or the they put a limit. You can't down upload any more levels. Okay. You can't upload any more levels. So the, the amount of levels that are Probably there to are the amount of levels people that there to are move going to, to Mario be. Maker 2. Right. Right. Yeah. Or, of course. I understand you know, game that Mario Maker yeah. 2 has already been out for many years at that point. Yeah. So. so that's when Team Zero Percent went, oh my God, let's now there's a there's a uh uh a finite number finite how yeah, how finite, do you pronounce yeah. that? Number of levels. And you know, we can do this. And so uh this video that I saw from the Riley C was basically like a call. That's the video that got me interested in all of this. Like it was a call like, yo, get out your Wii U. We got to do this. Like we got a mission. Finish we got to yeah. we got to beat Mario Maker. We got like you know, oh, oh, by the way, this video came out later when they announced the server shutdown. My bad. My bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That that period that that event like no more levels. That's that where everybody kinda, was like, okay. Yeah. But we then have to get this done. Kind of in October in, of 2023, <laughs> yeah. they said we're shutting down the servers. So that's when Team Zero Percent was like, "Let's do this." And they had already been clear a bunch of levels, but that's when things got serious. And as Ridey C says in this video, now you might think they had 28,000 levels in Mario Maker, uh, in Mario Maker 
uh, one from 2015, 28,000. It took mm-hmm. him, you know, 1.5 years. How are they going to beat all the rest of the levels? Well, the answer would be like a lot of people joined the cause and a lot of people, they got better too. People got better yeah. at, at the oh, yeah. game with Mario Maker 2 and... And uh, so, I mean, that's from my understanding. So they started to to take down a bunch of levels. Again, I'm not good with the numbers, but from my understanding, in January of 2024, there was five around 5,000 levels left, like 4,600 or something like so that. So from four months from right now, they yeah, like started four from four months ago levels. from right now, yeah. there was... 5,000 levels and okay. I, yeah, I feel like, okay, so I, I wrote some stuff down. How many uh, people there are There was 48,000. There was 48,000 levels left when they disabled uploads in March of 2021. Okay. Okay. So how many people are involved in this? From what I've seen, like Team 0% in Discord, let me see if I can go to their Discord really quick. I have it right here. I mean, are we talking about a small army? We're talking about like, like I'm I'm looking at their at their Discord right now. It says uh, online. Wait, wait. There's a there's a whole bunch of roles, but like I think there's like a thousand. Okay. Wow. So there's a good people. bit of people. I mean that that's yeah, not as many as I, I think thought. So I thought there would be more. So that's actually even more impressive that there's about a thousand, maybe a little more, give or take. Yeah, just, yeah. Kit, just trying to beat all these levels like that is insane. When you yeah. think about that, like that scope, how many from you said from twenty twenty one? Yes, forty eight thousand levels. Yes, forty eight thousand left. That's and absolutely so, insane. That's crazy. So look at this. It took six months to clear twenty five thousand. Oh, I mean, it took. Yeah, it took them six months to clear twenty five thousand. They were clearing tw- a thousand levels in a week, like when after that announcement. Like, I don't know if the twenty five thousand. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, I mean, that's that's still, they that's were crazy. destroying levels. Yeah. yeah, that's absolutely insane. I mean, think and, about that. That's yeah, and it's not like these are levels that are just like no. let's run through it real quick. These are the yeah, ones these that are the can't tough be ones. beat. Yeah, these are the these ones are that can't the be beat. Yeah. So it's like even if there is a thousand people and they're doing a thousand levels a week. That's only one level that you beat in a Again, week. Again, maybe don't quote me on the numbers. Okay, I'm just but making I'm a saying, guesstimate. Let's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's the, just the, say the, it as the, a rough yeah. estimate yeah. of the numbers. Think about that. That's yeah, yeah. insane. The and we're yes. talking about the the hardest of the hardest levels and the best of the best, of the best players. Yeah. Yes, but I also want to explain. So in Mario Maker One, you can download your level and you can edit it and practice it. So let's say that. Somebody like the beast, the beast 721 is a beast. One of the best players, if not the best. I mean, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Uh, the beast, I saw a video where, where the beast downloaded it. Okay, so here we're going to play a team 0%. He downloads the level. He practices it. Okay, we go here, we go here. Let me practice. Is this possible? Okay, okay. Cool, cool. Okay, next. He's an editor practicing all of the tricks. And then he's like, okay, let's do a live attempt. Boom, one shot. What? <laughs> like an uncleared level from like 2019 I mean, or something honestly, like that. I mean, what? And I know you're like way deeper into this stuff than I am. But that's how I feel when I watch your streams, dude. I watch you do shit. I'm like, how the fuck is he doing this? Like, how right did he you. just do that? Like, that's not even possible. <laughs> There's no way that's possible. No, so no, I get it. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're way deeper in it than I am. But I mean, that's how I feel when I watch you. So I was like, I, I can't I, imagine yeah. watching somebody do something like that. That's, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I watch absolutely you. Sometimes nuts. I just, I, I lose my mind. And so like, oh my God. think about like, okay, like one of the best players in the world, like Fritzef is like, okay, he does like a four hour grind on this level from like, 2021 or 2020 that nobody yeah even knows about boom four hours later clear fritz has cleared 10 of the last 100 levels think about that's pretty impressive 
That's nuts. And, okay, and so we're not, nuts. in a short Basic, time span. Yeah. Basically, top 100 hardest Mario Maker levels. He <laughs> he beat 10 percent of them. Yes, that's that's incredible. Yeah, I mean, I would I would yes. get a T-shirt made that said that on it and wear it every day. And, oh, and people for the last 100 came out of the woodworks like the best players beat one. But that one, think about it. That's a level. Yeah. And this, ha by the way, March 8, I believe, is the last 100 levels. One month ahead of the closure yeah. in April 8. It's wild. So there were, and, a, wait, whoa, there were 100 yeah, left. There were 100 left in a month. A month I ago. think so, yes. A month ago, Holy yeah. Yes. Crap. So they were yes. mowing these things down. They whittled it down to like about yes. 100 levels to go in a month span. So this has do literally it. been, yeah. I've mi I missed all, this has literally been like an insane Yes, song. there were like, articles about like, it. Yes, they, I'm telling you like. God, they're going to make a following. Netflix documentary about this. Oh, this is yes. insane. No I want the Summoning Salt documentary. I think that Summoning Salt is going to grab all the other documentaries. It's going to be like Boltron and then boom, <laughs> Summoning Salt documentary on this whole mess. And I'm like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. Like, even just well, learning the things I'm learning here, because I'm so glad I didn't watch any of these videos today now, because this is yeah. like, this is let, absolutely Well, yeah. let's, let's continue yeah. to blow your mind a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So, Chess, I mean, you've done a great job. You're, you're just doing this episode for us, essentially, which is probably better that way. By uh, the way, yes, go ahead. I was just going to, well, no, actually, you go ahead, because I'm going to move on. So, if you got anything left to say yeah. there. No, basically, I want to say that 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 video that, that, that Riley, uh, the Riley C., was mm -hmm. what got me personally into I had no idea. I had heard of Team Zero Percent, but I didn't right. really know much about it. I I knew that like the Beast 721 was playing uh you know some, some zero percent. I knew about it, but I didn't really know the significance of it until they announced the server shutdowns. That's when things got real and that's when I saw the Riley C video. And so I learned a lot from that video and, and it's what got me into it. But not only that, but the Riley C, in my opinion, and people like that beast is what is what brought a lot of people to Twitch. A lot of people saw this video and that video is going to be linked underneath that. A lot of people saw that video and they flocked to Twitch, especially when the last hundred thing was going on. Yeah, it blew up in viewership like it was. It was crazy the amount of people that were watching Mario Maker uh, yeah. 1. Mario Maker 1. Like, I mean, yes. Yeah, it, it was nuts. And also, I want to give a shout out to uh, Lugi Tanuki. The Lugi Tanuki show made a really good video that came out like two days after they announced uh, that, that the last dance was the last level. By the way, the last level, the last uh, legit level, as we'll learn later, was the last dance. That's Isn't what that it's called. Nuts? That's what it's called. That's what it was called. I mean, the I, last. You can't dance. write this shit. You better, can't man. write it. No. You can't write this. <laughs> well, let's talk about what was written by history, and let's get into a little bit about the level hackers and illegitimate clears that happened. Now, I did hear something about this that. Process. Tell me about this. So, I, I, Chess, I know trimming the herbs is like the one okay. we're going to talk about mainly, but I, I know yes. you sent me the videos. I'm sure you watched the ones you sent me. Yeah, go, go over some of the Ill illegitimate uh, clears and also okay. the people uploading level hacks. Well, how do you even levels. do that? Before we even get, how would you well, even? We're have gonna, a, well, we're gonna get yeah. there. We're gonna yeah, get we're there. Gonna all, right, get all, right, there. All, right, all right, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. I'm excited. Okay, so <laughs> from okay, so I'll I'll give you guys a little timeline. So yeah. the last dance was cleared, but then there was one last level. It was called trimming the herbs. Mm. This level was expected to be the last one months in advance i know that like a couple of weeks leading leading up to the last dance being beaten people were already saying trimming the herbs is going to be the last gonna one. Be the one there was even articles about it and like it seems like trimming the herbs is going to be the last level right and so then i i don't remember the date exactly yeah all good but uh let's say like you know on this particular date March 20, whatever it was. A couple weeks out, yeah. They beat the last dance, but then they were streaming the herbs, right? For right. a whole week, people started suspecting that there was some shenanigans going on because it was too hard. So a lot of like the top players started, uh, some of the top players started discussing 
uh, in, a, in, a, in a certain... Uh, I'm going to pause certain... you there, too, real quick, yes. Jess, because that's actually crazy. Think about this. We just talked about all the levels, uh, all the <laughs> incredibly talented people trying to beat these right? levels, and, and, and we got down to the final few. First of all, they expect expected this one to be the last one which is like if they're telling you this we expected this to be the last one ah. that's the hardest level and yes. now we finally got there and they're, and they're still yes. not really beating it and yes. then they're going they're not going like oh i can't beat this it's you're cheated they're going yeah. no we're the Some, best of the best of the best we no, can't beat that, this level listen, yes. but that's something so has cool to be going this. on listen, th- there's uh, another ad like what's yeah. really cool about this is that they're coming together uh-huh. So like yeah. they're like the fucking yeah. Avengers, man. Hey, like, uh-huh. We gotta try to like sit down, oh, man. figure this out. <laughs> like, this is like, I'm telling you, if there's not a documentary right? made, on this I, I love show, it. Like, yeah, there is a there is a missed it's, opportunity here. Yeah, right. So basically, and I'll, I'll get some some more stuff. Uh, I I kind of don't want to mention any names, and but also, if you guys want to know more about this, please look at the videos because I yes. gave I gave uh, these guys five videos that I think that are like the some of the, the, the coolest videos yeah, on the down subject. Down in the description. Yep. Yes, down in the description. Uh, there's a video by Abisoft, The Riley C, uh, The Loogie Tanuki Show, and Henrist. And uh, there's another Riley C video because I, and also I'm waiting for the new Riley C video about this thing. Oh, I can't And again, wait. hopefully it's gonna be like Voltron and we get the summoning salt video. <laughs> if you guys don't know summoning salt, he's like so cool. Uh the history of speed running and stuff like that. And you know, it's iconic at this point. The music, everything's pretty cool. Anyways, so trimming the herbs caused a lot of uh a lot of discussion. So there was some community like clashing of opinions. Uh, basically some people were saying this is too hard, but then there was some well, stuff that was uncovered. Before we get into that yes. part of that, let me ask you this about the level. Yes. W- what about the level makes it hard? It was like, very what precise. Kind of level is it? it was very precise. The precision required. It was, it was a t- 12 second level and you had to grab a bomb, grab a bomb while spinning. And then it, it's called trimming the herbs because there was two plants, like piranha plants, okay. stacked. Piranha plant one and piranha plant two. So you had to bounce while spinning and holding a, bo- a bomb. <laughs> you had to bounce on the top plant, release the bomb. The bomb trims the top herb, kills it. But then you have to grab the bomb again and bounce on the bottom one. So you can't kill the bottom one. If you kill the bottom one, you're done. So you have to kill the top plant with the bomb that you release, then grab it again, bounce on the, then go to the next one. And you have <laughs> to do this like three times, falling down like these saws. It's super precise. It's so precise that people have already compared the upload uh, video to the actual clear because they cleared this. Believe it or not, I am not there, but they compared the videos and they look almost identical. Like, like the you, there's precision. literally like no other way. Well, to yeah, do it. Expl- it from, to be from the explanation yes. of the video chess, I was watching with double speed earlier to, to make sure I was up on this. Yes, as, uh, enough. The like we're talking frame by frame, you know, mirror. There like was you, in order to tricks, in, order, yes. in order to clear this level. It, it wasn't like you could have your own uh, margin of error. You had to frame by frame, basically just do the exact, do the yeah, exact exactly the same. correct thing. So, there is yeah. no margin for error whatsoever. Maybe a frame or two here or there, but that's so it. So basically, in, in a general way, and, and again, I learned this from the videos, uh, and and also from from seeing stuff on Twitter, the the community was divided. Some people were in 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 this camp saying, "Hey, this is a level created." by a bomb expert who released a uh, who who uploaded a very difficult level called bombs five and uh you know hey they they're pretty legit you know and if you go to, to the youtube video that's what i saw i saw all the members of the community supporting this guy like yeah. i was like this guy's mm-hmm. legit i mean he's he, everybody's supporting him like congratulating him on this very tough upload and you know the guy's a beast so hey he's a bomb beast but then the other faction was like first of all <laughs> like 
these guys are beasts, by the way. They're like, and you have to nobody you have to beat the level yourself yeah. before you can upload. So it. Yes. these are people that are playing the level. So he's and they're done. like, this is too hard. And also they were like, they did some digging around and they, they were like, okay, so this level took a month to beat when, when the other level took like multiple weeks or whatever, it just kind of didn't make sense. And I, they also discovered that in the upload of bombs five, which is the creator's other level, uh, one of the munchers was a spike in the in the real level, but in the video it was a muncher, so mm. it didn't make any sense. And they confronted the maker, and you know they were like, "Ah, oh, you know I made a mistake, and I played it again." And and so you know, based on on that, it, something was fishy. Like this, it doesn't add up. And also, like the players are very very good now, and I, I you know, like it just didn't add up. And so, but there was no con concrete evidence or anything. It was just suspicions and opinions at this point. Yeah. And then the other camp was, again, like the people who supported him, whatever. And so I guess I'll, I'll continue telling the story. So Ooh. after a week of this, after a whole week of this, uh, the creator came forward on Team Precision, uh, Team Zero Percent Discord and confessed that the level was indeed uploaded using TAS, mm. tool assisted speedrun. Uh, ah, that answers so, my question on what TAS is. Yes, so the level was, che was cheated, was uploaded using like, you know, either slow motion or- The last or, one Or was? inputs, yeah. Again, I'm not gonna get into details because I'm gonna mess it up, but what, from oh. what I understand is that they, uh, with a Raspberry Pi connected to a Wii U controller and they fed the inputs some something like that and yeah. they uploaded the level like that it looks like and, a spaghetti uh a spaghetti bowl yeah. of wires and, and with a raspberry tie attached hooked up to the wii u game yes. it was it, and it's the, very yeah the the creator also admitted to up uh, having uploaded uh the actual uh the bombs five level two that was the level that everybody pointed to like hey this guy's a a a beast and uh you know and and they were good they were good good players but you know after that basically the community was like well i guess that level is illegitimate and as they've done with other illegitimate levels they don't require that to for their goal of completing super mario maker so basically the last dance became the last level mm -hmm. Oh, and chess, and chess. There was some, <laughs> there was like some prize money stuff that went on. Apparently, the guy who beat yes. the last dance won like a hundond bucks, but but the head on yes. the trimming the herbs was like three thousand dollars. And it yeah, was like there was like some drama there. Dollars. There was drama no. like that dude who won last dance should have got that that, that real prize money, right. but because no, he lied, right. he lost out on thousands of dollars of prize wow. money. Wow, dude, there's so much drama in this. Yeah, this basically, and he the creator apologized, and and you know. It was, it, you know, people. I mean, how? Okay, what was the reception of the apology? Uh, the reception of the apology was, uh, I would say, from my perspective, was like, okay, you know, he he at least came forward. There was a lot of people very angry. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I can imagine. Uh, I personally felt like we were robbed of 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 you know, like the the last dance being the last level would have been yeah, absolutely really that, that celebration. Right? Like we yeah. did, like it's mm -hmm. done. Yeah, yeah, because then it's done, and you find out. Well, we got one yeah. more, but then you find out. Well, no, actually, you don't. You already did it. Yeah. It's already passed. Ah, oh, that is yeah. Rough. People, you know, he was on Twitter, and he posted that on Twitter, and a lot of people, you know, commented and whatnot. Uh, definitely, do not harass this person. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. No Keep it cool. That. Yeah, no I think the community was was it's just was <laughs> both relieved. This is in a very general sense. The community was both relieved. But also a little bit, you know, a little bit hurt by by what happened, you know. Yeah. Somebody somebody around the community said it said it uh, uh, good. Like Mario Maker One ends with a troll. <laughs> <Classic. laughs> yeah. For referencing troll levels. <laughs> and uh, well, basically, here's the, the the crazy thing about trimming the herbs. After it was revealed that it was uploaded using TAS, some people kept grinding it. Mm-hmm. And two days before the server shutdown, a player by the name of Sanix91 SMM1 or SMM2, my bad, 
beat the level two days before server I mean, shuts down. Absolutely. Okay. Let's let's just stop <laughs> for a second because I was really impressed that somebody beat it. I was very impressed. <laughs> like, okay, they got it right. Like somebody beat it already. So it's not like they're like the greatest because that guy already did it because he uploaded it. Then you tell me, no, he didn't beat it. He actually didn't beat it. This person is literally the first person to beat a only. level. The first the and only, only person. Yes. To beat a level made by a computer, yes. basically. An and impossible me, level yeah. became possible. That is and and let me let me also give you like a perspective. So I went I went and saw the VOD and I also saw like the stream analytics just for curiosity. And this is what happened. He uh Sanix was 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 grinding, trimming the herbs. And when you say think about the grinds, we're talking a whole month here, yeah. a month and a half. Okay, so yeah. The level is like this, boing, 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 and then four seconds later, you win, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first boing from this plant to yeah. this plant, that's like a whole, like, four days. Then <laughs> starting to get to the second plant. Sanix had a counter. First, third plant, I mean, the whole drop. And then, like, you, like, basically, I think a week or five days before the clear, we got a Twitter uh, PB by Sanix, the, the player who beat it. And when I saw that video, we were all blown away. We we're like, what? This is getting beaten. This is getting beaten. This is nuts. And that was a nigh. In the Mario Maker community, a nigh is when you barely made it and you die on the last trick. So yeah. there was a nigh like five days yeah, before. Basically had it. Just so we're like... So people were watching and he uh, Sanix had like like 300 and, and 300 to 350 people watching this grind, right? And then when when Sanix beat the level, 1100 people ended up watching that stream on Twitch. That's like, absolutely wow. insane. And it was it spread like wildfire. Yeah. The herbs have been trimmed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my I mean, that's God. everybody all, all over over Twitch. They were going to chats. They were on Discord. Like they beat it. Everybody like flocked. That's from for for a community like that. That's a whole bunch of people, man. That's that, like, yeah. I mean, that's that's absolutely insane. I, the, I did the, not realize there was this much involved in this entire thing. Now I'm I'm gonna go watch all the videos now because I want to yeah. know all the details. And Team That's Zero crazy. Percent is what is 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 really what this is all about. They just destroyed it. I mean, Team That's Zero the, Percent dude. is like the main character here. Like, yeah, that's the name of the documentary. It's so Team cool. Zero Percent. It's, it's so it's, cool. It's that written. project is You're so welcome, amazing. You're welcome, Netflix. <laughs> I was addicted as a viewer. I, as a viewer, I couldn't stop watching everything on Twitch. I was like, man, this is so cool. I'm telling you. And then I mean, documentaries dropping. Every other day, man, it's so cool. I, 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 every time I wake up, I, I look up Mario Maker on YouTube to see if something new dropped or something. Like, man, that's crazy. So cool. And there, the there's story. more to come. There's more documentaries that are gonna come. Like, I'm telling you, there's go <laughs> Netflix is. There, I'm telling you right now, there's gonna Dude, be. It's, a big it's one made. On <laughs> they've done dumber <laughs> things. Years. They've done documentaries on dumber things than this. I mean, I mean come listen, on. I like... got my listen, I got my NASCAR documentary from Netflix. Okay. I got my NASCAR. Yeah, I watched the doc. Nice. I'm a we're sucker. Gonna, for, I'm a sucker for those Netflix documentaries. I, they're I, I good. watched. I, oh, they're great. I watched one. There was like this guy. They they made a documentary about a guy who was calling pizza places. And what was happening, Abby, in that one? Do you watch that one with me? <laughs> I don't even remember. Like, I, I think it. it, it I, I, I somebody ended up like it was kind of like serious, and in the end, because like someone, I think someone ended up dying or whatever the case is. Oh, but, well, okay. But, but yeah, like basically, the, 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 the premise. Yeah. The premise of the whole thing was like he called. Okay. He was calling restaurants. Oh, it, that's right. It was like involving getting people to take off their clothes and being uncomfortable. And it was very. It was dramatic. But like, dude, we're talking about like a guy who is basically essentially prank phone calling restaurants and we made <laughs> and we made a documentary about this like let's yeah. let let's go make the mario maker uh documentary the team zero yeah. percent documentary team that would zero, be incredible yeah.
Um, yeah, yeah that, that's we're gonna see some very cool stuff on YouTube at the least for right? sure. Yeah, oh, for oh yeah, sure. so and cool. I'm, I'm we sure. already have a bunch of videos about it, so it's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we just made another one right now. <laughs> we did. <laughs> just oh, happened. I think I think just I would happened. be. I think I'd make a mistake if I didn't. I'm just a fan. I'm just a fan. I didn't contribute. Yeah. I always felt like, man, I I I, I was so afraid of playing Team Zero Percent, but I will say this: I'm gonna join Team Zero Percent. I already joined the Discord, and I'm gonna join the fight in yes. Mario Maker Two. Mario Hell Maker. Yeah, yeah, dude! Hell yeah! That's what I like to hear. Represent, Jess. Oh, Let's go. I'm inspired, and Love the whole it. pro, the whole thing, personally, is inspiring me to make a Team Zero Percent level. I want to make a level. But here's the thing, oh, when you make man. a level that's really hard and and you promote it, then people know about it. So I want my level, I'm gonna create a secret account, I'm gonna make a really, really tough level. See you in three years. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be sitting there like, don't forget about this one. <laughs> like, think about it, like they have to get it either randomly. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like or no, the and, what is it? Like a by code the way, or something? Yes, by the way, something about Team Zero Percent and the Discord that, that we haven't talked about is that this was kind of made possible like the the research that goes in the programs that go into searching the uncleared levels oh you god know? can you imagine and like... yeah there's basically man what's the name of this of this person uh his name the, is doodly diddly oh okay you got it i was gonna stall for you <laughs> no oh, wait, wait wait give me a second here i can find it okay uh, Jeev, I need Jeopardy music, by the way, for my board. <laughs> Sorry. You're bored. Okay. Yeah, my, my soundboard here. Oh, I need Jeopardy music. I don't, can we, are we allowed to play that music? I don't uh, know if we're allowed to. Okay, it's my not, bad. Not. The, not Krypton, the Krypton. The Krypton <laughs> okay. is, a, is, a, is a person that that basically like created the program. And, and another maker, too. Uh, another, another, not another maker. Another person, too. I don't know too much about it, but... Uh, basically, like they they put a lot of, of money into into making the server possible and everything, and uh, I don't yeah. know much oh, about it. I think it was like eleven thousand dollars. This is a massive project. Yeah, that's yeah. what I what I heard. And if you see the videos, you can you can find some at least in the Lugi Tanuki show one. You can see the the Krypton where you can donate, and if anything. But I was gonna recommend that not only watch the videos. Uh, that that we're gonna recommend in this channel the videos themselves in the in the information in the info on the on the bottom they give you all the links to all the players all their twitches and and yeah, youtube yeah, and support those people and twitter sure. and you know if 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 you, if you guys want to see some really cool mario maker gameplay or 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 watch whatever you know or or support some of these people or or check out what they're up to like there's there's all the information down there and you can get to, to know everybody. I've learned so much through this. I feel like I've learned so much about the community that f from a game of a game that I play a lot, you know, yeah, and I yeah. still learn and met so many people. I played trimming the herbs and it was it was nuts. How to far be, did you get in? Yeah, how, how close far did, did you get? get? I got I trimmed about ten herbs total. <laughs> And I got to the second plant two times. How many times? I touched you played it? The second plant two times. I think I, I gave it like four hours. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> that is insane. Do you think do you have any other favorite levels uh from these like you know final you know thousand levels or so that you tried? Uh, oh yeah. Like there's this one called Beast Needle, uh okay. beaten by King Boo. It was this ridiculous precision level. It was like eternal tough jump after tough jump and you can it's it's like uh i can't remember how many how many minutes probably but imagine like i don't know like 10 minutes of gameplay or like i think it was like eight minutes i'm not sure but uh, just like jump eight after minutes, jump after jump oh. yeah like there's like a 500 second timer yeah, I mean, I, I think like that's I eight minutes i'm not sure i'm not sure i i watch you do that stuff and i'm just like oh no I can't believe I don't know my math how my, how much time a Mario Maker level has, but it's it's pretty it's pretty nuts. Uh, also, the last dance I saw the beast played another another player uh, beat it. Uh, I think their name is Yamada, uh, but uh, Thab the beast 
was playing the last dance on stream and it was just nuts to see that it's yeah. it's amazing and we're talking about like top like best players like yeah. grinding hours of this level you're like and then you put the level on yourself to try it out you can't even get the first jump like that's yeah that's what's yeah, up. right <laughs> <laughs> i would like to shout out not that i played it but watching your videos that you sent me today just one that is in my mind because i thought it was funny uh one level was called wasted summer and uh-huh. I thought it, I thought that level was funny because the reason that it's named Wasted Summer is because a guy spent four months <laughs> wasting his right. entire summer getting this level uploaded the to, the Wii, awesome. to the Mario Maker. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. I, I, don't, I don't remember. Who, yeah, that was a, a swimming level, okay. uh, beating by uh, Megan uh, Narwhal. Swimming and levels. Yeah. <laughs> this level was nuts. The precision. Mm-hmm. We're talking level. hours Ooh. upon hours. And, I mean, and, and hold on, Chess. Uh, so, like, the precision in all of the Mario Maker levels is pretty impressive for the most part. A lot of the big ones, not just the Team Zero Percent ones, but just in uh, general, some of the top levels in the game. Yeah, I mean, th- 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 that's the point of it all is the precision, not just yeah. on a regular 2D Mario. Like, if you don't even, if you've never seen a, a Mario Maker level, just erase what you know about Mario, just erase it, and then redraw <laughs> it from memory, but like spit all over the page with a thousand extra things involved. That's a Mario Maker level. It's not yeah. at all. So like it's all has to be precision, but these in particular, obviously, these yeah. levels, the last ones, involve the most precision that is required by right. yeah. any of them. And and just, like, respect to anybody who box. does it. Respect to you, Chess, especially, but anybody out there who is able to get these uh, complete these levels, like respect. Yeah. Well, like I, insane I like, work. Honestly, I feel like Nintendo has taken taken notice of what's happening in that of community course. too. Because you see even Mario Wonder, the style of level, some of the stuff in Mario Wonder, it's not to that level. Like, let's not act uh, like it's like insane. But, but you can see you the can influence. See the, yeah, you can see the influence from from the community yes. from Mario Maker for sure. Yeah. I right. think this game changed everything, and and it's you know. But hey, you know, we do have a two D Mario called Mario Wonder, and you know, yeah, it's, it's fun. Good. I haven't beaten it. I'm so close. Uh, I'm so I've been I testing all these like, controllers with it. I'm so close now. I like to say that, like personally, like the Mario community. Uh, I, I mean, at least be, at least being part of the community, like we're spoiled. We we play so many tough levels that you know a new 2D Mario seems like, kind eh. of like a little easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't been in the game, so but that's kind but of what it, what it felt. It's to fairly me. easy. It's fairly easy. I'm yeah. pretty deep yeah. in the game at this point. It's pretty easy. But I wanted to. I I just wanted to say something about Mario Maker, which is is really cool and it's a beautiful thing. It, you know, Nintendo opened up Pandora's box. They were like, mm. you know, make make your levels. We're not gonna make. You know, we're not gonna make a new Mario. You make it. You make it for <laughs> us, right? And so they opened up Pandora's box, and you know, I remember making my first level. I I have a lot of nostalgia for Mario Maker One. I listen to the music, and I'm like, taken back you know, to 2015 making a level and, and listening to that music. I, I feel like it's, you know, nostalgia can be kind of fairly recent too, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, basically, I just wanted to tell this story uh, uh, as, as, a, as a story that, that kind of shares, the, that, that kind of tells the magic of the game or whatever, right? Sure, sure. So when the, when the game came out, I made a level where you bounce, get on the clown car, with a fire flower and you're you're driving in your little clown car and you're you're shooting your fire flower uh uh fire bullets or whatever that's a shoot 'em up like gradius Time i out. wanted to make yeah, have a you level played that have you played that on your stream yes i have i have i've seen you i've, I've okay. seen you play that level on your stream i've seen it so I know what you're talking about so basically like a shoot 'em up a schmop yeah. you mm-hmm. know people started making levels like that like everybody like a, a a bunch of people made levels like the clown, the clown car, and shooting with the fire flower, like a shoot 'em up, like Radius. And so Nintendo was like, "Oh, they gave us what I call the shmup date." <laughs> In December of 2015, they gave the game a new clown car that can shoot forward and Straight, can get a power of up down at an angle. Yes, oh, like oh, that's what? <laughs> so think about that. Like that's so cool. Like how I, I, that is very cool. I have a question. Speaking of yes. the updates, how big uh, this is Mario Maker 2. Uh, uh, the link update. 
Yes. Was yes. that like a gigantic thing? Because yeah, I was very it interested was. in that. I mean, I'm just they a Zelda get, fan, but like, yeah, no. In Mario Maker Two, they gave us an update, Link, and also SMB Two, Super Mario Brothers Two. You yeah. can pick up in the yeah, same update. Up, yeah. It was it was a pretty cool update for Mario Maker Two. I, I think it was the last one though. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, you got the it bow was and cool. arrow with Link and stuff. That was cool. Yeah, I like how somebody put it when that came out. Oh, the new update. It's Mario with a gun. <laughs> basically. basically. It's basically. Like you can it. shoot arrows and Yeah. But yeah, I uh I'm not not a, a not purist. A of, uh, I'm a purist. I don't okay. use Link okay, or any. Fair. No, I'm kidding, by the way. I'm kidding. Well, let me ask you this. How many were there any of the last like hundred levels that dealt with anything like that? No, because that's Mario Maker 2. Oh, we're Mario Maker, that was, that's right. Different yeah. different thing. Okay, so we'll see yeah. that. In what three years when we're when we're dealing with this whole thing again? Here's the thing about Mario Maker 2, you can't download levels. So, so you, you can't, can't practice, practice them. them. Yeah. Mm. But I'm guessing that in the future somebody's gonna invent a tool to extract the level and put it in your in your switch. Oh, something that like that. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh like yeah. With, and because somebody you said somebody made the the program that found the uh the uncleared levels. Yes, yes, yes. Now this is, is that a not a thing. thing? But, in Mario Maker, they don't have like a category like these are the ones that have not been beaten. I feel like that is something they should have that's in nuts. the game. That's nuts, but they don't. That's that's crazy. That's like nuts. why would you not have that list? Right. Especially at this point. I knowing. feel like I feel like this is this whole thing is gonna influence Mario Maker 3. Mario Maker 3 yeah. is gonna be like. Do you want to search uncleared levels from 2021? Here you go. Absolutely. That's gonna that be would be thing. awesome. Absolutely. Like, that would be nuts. That would be absolutely nuts. Nintendo sure. would be Nintendo would be nuts not to keep improving upon not just Mario Maker but all their games based off community feedback. Because at the end of the day, yeah, well, the ones ba- paying for the game, I'm not saying they should do what the community says to do. I'm, I'm just saying, saying with, taking look who community we're with feedback. We're dealing with Nintendo. <laughs> oh well. Well, li- li- I, listen. DJ I guarantee Pop. they do a great job with some stuff, man. You know, man. Sometimes, like, especially okay. this being like a community driven thing i feel like they just yeah they they're just real weird about stuff like that man they they're are. just so weird about getting involved in it like we have all that stuff with like the, the smash brothers tournament where we're doing yeah. like the weird things and they're i'll all, tell you i'll just, tell you a story i'll tell you a story this was before mario maker 2 came out and it was th- this was always the talk yo they're gonna give us i don't think they're gonna give us mario maker 2 uh i I literally felt like Mario 2 was a guaranteed thing after the following happened. In before Mario Maker 2 was announced in 2019, February of 2019, they somebody mass reported four famous levels. I don't know what they did, but they got deleted. Nintendo deleted these four very famous levels. One of them was Magnum Opus. One of them was by Super J Basil. I can't remember the name of it. One of them was Mission Impossible. And one of them was Bowser versus uh, Mario versus Mecha Bowsilla. This Bowsilla level Mecha Bowsilla. was so famous <laughs> that Nintendo used it in for a Mario Maker 2 uh, advertisement. Why wow. would they delete this? So these levels got deleted. So the community was like, what what happened like and so a lot of people were like concerned and a lot of people like try to contact nintendo and then nintendo by the way the information that that we had at the time was that they never did that somebody's in nintendo said like no we we can't do that or something like that i don't know how like either through a tweet or but nintendo gave us the four levels back they they literally they brought unbanned. them back. They brought them back. That's was there right any expl- Nintendo. Any explanation of why they were do. taken down in the first place? I think they were mass reported. Somebody trolling or something like that. These okay. were like very okay. famous levels. Uh, yeah. Some of them were really, really famous. It was just basically because they got the mass reporting and they yeah. thought it'd be better to see it rather than. And so Nintendo just, gave us those yeah. levels back, and that's when I was like, "They, they care about us. They're gonna give us Mario Maker they, two, I, and they crazy. gave us Mario Maker two. Yeah, that's a very." Not and a another, Nintendo yeah. thing of them to do. And another thing is that another thing is that Team Zero Percent they were running into server issues 
trying to grind the levels in the in January and they they couldn't connect or whatever was happening and Nintendo they fixed it man they I mean, somebody that's awesome. reported that's it awesome and they that fixed they gotta, it that gotta another it. thing is this too check this out in Mar in the Mario Maker grind there were some levels that were impossible because Nintendo would fix glitches mm. and these levels use glitches that Nintendo went when patched out made these levels impossible mm -hmm. so they reported these levels like, yo, this level is impossible. And guess what? Nintendo would delete them. Nintendo, it's like they're they're paying attention to this. They're they're like and what's wild is we're talking about <laughs> we're not talking about Mario Maker 2 here. We're talking about this is Mario, Mario Maker, Maker 1, 1 on the on Wii, Wii U, U. Yes. in January. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> right. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of impressive. reasons. There's a lot of reasons that we can give Nintendo shit and we will continue to give them shit for a lot of things. But sure will. at the end of the day, uh, I do believe Nintendo. You know, I'm not going to say they have the best of heart. I mean, like I, we, that's not necessarily true. They're no, still business trying to make money. Thing. But like, the, the Nintendo, uh, sometimes at least, <laughs> and, and a good a good thing that was they were the good thing that was for this time. They're they're present in the moment. They can see what was happening, and they app. They, it seems like chess. You know, I don't want to speak out of turn. I feel like they embraced this whole thing, based off what you just told me there. Here, either the that like, or they're already negotiating the rights for the Netflix documentary. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I, made I'm by, very confident uh, of, of Mario Maker 3. Sorry, I'm very confident no, that that is, is going to come out oh, I, with the new console. Yeah, no doubt. Especially all the things I've no learned doubt. about tonight, I, I don't see how it's not coming. I mean, I already thought it was, but like, man, they may put, I mean, that may be, because I feel like Mario Maker 2 didn't quite, have the traction they probably thought that maybe Mario Maker 2 was going to have still did great yeah but yeah but one no, was they like sold phenomenon well. you know of course one was the the innovation the phenomenon yeah but you know it did sell more it was it was on a on a on a better selling console as well yeah. uh but i think yeah i you know i i i i don't know i personally like one better believe it or not i think a lot of people like like the Game, physics gamepad, better. Dude. The gamepad. All right. I mean, hey, one more question. For I got making, one more question. This is the this is the coolest thing for making. Oh levels. yeah, mm, it's absolutely. so good. That's yeah. I, just having a tablet. And the switch like two's get the switch two's gimmick is gonna use the tablet. I have and that use pen. the TV. That pen I showed <laughs> and we're gonna have that feature back. Yes. The pen for the I switch. The, I showed you that right. Yes. Yeah. 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 That I would always cool. lose it. <laughs> yeah. All right. One more question. Yes. How how pumped are you to have all the stuff from Mario Wonder coming to uh, Mario Maker Three? That'd be cool. Of course, it's definitely happening. There's no yeah. way it's not. It's gonna it's gonna There's be awesome. No Mario Wonder is spectacular as far as visuals, and we can give those visuals and physics to uh, yeah. you know Mario Maker Three to add to their you know litany and of, give us of, more of stuff. Others. You know, for yeah. for, for all the other Just levels. The bubbles, yeah. the bubbles alone. Right? Just the bubbles alone, oh, yeah. what you could do with that. Mario Maker Wonder. I mean, Mario Wonder Kaiso. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mario Maker Wonder w wouldn't be a bad spinoff of the franchise. Like, it doesn't have all the old Mars. It's only yeah. the physics of Mario Wonder. But you could. there's so much you could do. I think that actually wouldn't yeah. be a terrible spinoff game. Uh a lot of people want a Mario Kart Maker and, and a Yes, Mario a Zelda 3D. Dungeon Maker. Zelda yeah. Dungeon Maker is a big one. That exists, one. though, you know. Uh, yes, but, yeah, but from yeah. the we want it from the Nintendo. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of people want a Mario 3D Maker, but think of the garbage that we will see if that if that happens. The atrocities that people will make in Mario Mario 3D Maker. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be horrible. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> that I would mean, require a lot of super too switch are power. on the whole Zelda Maker <laughs> thing, which. I, they've made games like that. I, they have one. I have one. It's like a chicken. You're like a chicken. But it, uh, it's basically a dungeon maker. It's a Zelda dungeon maker, but instead uh, of being Link, you're a chicken. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. But it's all. It's also like, it doesn't it have the same. It was buggy. It was yeah. buggy, though. I actually yeah, got that review buggy, code, but, and I actually yeah. got stuck in the first one of the first dungeons, and it kind of pissed me off. I'm like, man. Yeah, this is... it just, but it's still Mario Maker that too same. Good. Yeah. It, it doesn't feel like a Mario Maker. And even yeah. the dungeon maker they'd had in, uh, uh what was it uh link's awakening yeah i mean that was that was bare bones but that was like their 
I don't know, man. That, that, uh, I like Zelda a lot. Yeah. I like Zelda better than Mario, and I would love to have a type of game like that, but I just don't think it works. I just don't think it works. I think Mario Maker hit it right on the head. They they found right. the secret sauce. I don't think it works with the... I mean, it could work with other things. I don't think Zelda's that thing, but I mean, yeah. it's crazy. I mean... The, I hear you, my friend. I, I, I'm very, very, uh, very excited to go watch the rest of these videos now. I, I want to yeah. learn way more oh, about yeah. this. And we got we suggest you guys as well to go check out the videos that are in our description, whether you're listening to this podcast on audio platforms or YouTube. They're down below. Go check them out. Uh, yeah, and also look at the look at the more information underneath each video, and you'll discover really really cool uh, Mario Maker uh, and creators and and, for and sure. such really cool Definitely stuff. Support them for sure. Uh, speaking of supporting guys, make sure to go support Chess. He's got a YouTube channel. He's got a Twitch channel. Do you have anything else you want to plug? By the way, anything else that I don't know about as far as your YouTube or Twitch or anything else? Uh, no, not really at the moment. Uh, I I do wanna. I'm not doing a lot of stuff with it with the YouTubes, but I I want to start doing some music stuff. But uh, and 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 I'll reveal some stuff later. We'll we'll talk about it with, with, with a band <laughs> that, that I'm in, when, a band yeah, that I have. That's right. Oh, but, Chess. Yeah. After this, I gotta send you. I gotta send you my band's new stuff, dude. Ooh, oh, nice. Ooh, I'll check it. Tasty. I'll check it. It's tasty. But for now, Twitch. I'm having a lot of fun on Twitch, playing some Mario Maker Two and some Mega Man on Mega Man Mondays. Where I played Mega Man One through Eleven, and now we're playing Mega Man the X series, and I'm up Hell to yeah. X Five, and I'm having a blast. And I'm playing Mario Maker, uh, some random stuff, some stuff that I that I kind of want to uh, play and beat, uh, uh, like levels and stuff. And uh, I'm also making a team precision world. And I'm this whole team zero presenting is really inspiring. Me and I'm gonna I'm gonna make a really really tough level. And I'm gonna grind it on stream. That's gonna be awesome. But also enjoying a lot of viewer levels, a lot of people coming in, and I play their levels. It's a lot of fun. Awesome, dude. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Again, yes. everybody, make Thank sure to follow him. Where he belongs. You guys rock. We're going to actually just cut the show here once again for two weeks in a row now. Or actually, was it a week before? Either way. Uh, we, you know, we ran long. Obviously, we, we, we haven't, well, as far as the live stream started, it was an hour late to begin with. So, we're, no after show this week. We did give you a pre show, but no after show. So, we're going to actually just sign off all together for the stream audience and the audio, uh, audio audience. Say that 10 times fast. Thank you guys so much for hanging out this week. Uh, make sure to check out the last podcast we did with Chess, which was the music trivia podcast, the video game music trivia. That was a ton of fun. So, if you enjoyed this one, you're going to enjoy that one as well. Uh, I made a fool myself in Drip One, and Chess was above and beyond with that with that episode as well. So, uh, again, guys, thank you, Chess. Thank you, Drip. We're gonna see you guys, and thank you, audience. We're gonna see you guys next week. Later. You rock. Thank you so much.